Hello, today we're going to learn 80 words in Portuguese. This video is part one, so I'm going to upload other videos uh, related to this one. The first word is a pronoun, personal pronoun. It is the first person singular. Eu. Eu. Eu gosto de você. I like you. Ela não é como eu. She's not like me. As you can see, eu can be translated as I and also me. Tu. Tu. Second person singular. Tu gostas dele. You like him. Ela não é como tu. She is not like you. You is the proper translation. Você. Você. Third person singular. Você gosta dele. You like him. Ela não é como você. She is not like you. Also, you is the proper translation. What is the difference between você and tu? Well, first off, tu, uh, you need to use the verb on the second person conjugation. And você, the verb, is on the third person conjugation, the same as he and she. And which one is more used? Well, tu, at least for me, sounds very old-fashioned. I don't know anyone who uses it, but I'm from Rio de Janeiro. Not exactly Rio de Janeiro. I'm from a city called Campos dos Goitacazes, and... In my city, people do not use it, but I know there are some cities in Brazil where people use it. So that's why I have to teach you. But the reality is people do not use the verb properly. They use the verb on the third person, which is wrong because tu is the second person. And você is well accepted national media use it, movies, and so on. So, it is preferable to learn você. Voice. Voice. Second person plural. Voice gostais dele. You like him. Ela não é como voice. She's not like you. Voice is old-fashioned. But you can find it in old books or in the Bible. Do not use it in daily conversation or even in writing. Vocês. Vocês. Vocês, it is the transformation of voice. Now we say vocês. Third person plural. Vocês gostam dele. You like him. Ela não é como vocês. She's not like you. You here is the plural. Nós. Nós. First person plural. Nós gostamos dele. We like him. Ela não é como nós. She's not like us. Nós can be translated as we or us. Ele. Ele. Third person singular. Ele gosta dela. He likes her. Ela não é como ele. She's not like him. So, ele can be translated as he or him. Ela, ela, 
third person singular feminine. Ela gosta dele. She likes him. Ele não é como ela. He is not like her. Ela can be translated as she or her. Eles. Eles. Third person plural. It is masculine but also neutral. It is used when we have men and women together. Eles gostam dele. They like him. Ela não é como eles. She is not like them. Elas. Elas. Third person plural feminine. Elas gostam dele. They like him. Ela não é como elas. She's not like them. Elas and eles can be translated as they or them. Criança. Criança. And the plural is crianças. It is a noun, which in Portuguese we call substantivo or nome. How do you know whether a word is a noun or not? Well, you can use articles before them. If a word accepts an article, it is a noun. Eu vi uma criança. I saw a kid. As crianças não querem ir. The kids don't want to go. Mão. Mão. The plural is mãos. Eu vi uma mão. Eu vi uma mão. In this sentence, uh, when I say it fast, eu vi uma mão, it reminds me of the word papaya, because mamão in Portuguese means papaya. So, when you say it fast, it can sound like I saw a papaya. Well, it is the language. Eu vi uma mão. I saw a hand. Que belas mãos você tem! What beautiful hand you have. Família. Família. The plural is famílias. Como vai a sua família? How is your family going? Muitas famílias vieram à festa. A lot of families went to the party. Pessoa. Pessoa. The plural is pessoas. Você é uma ótima pessoa. You are a great person. O local estava cheio de pessoas. The area was full of people. Problema. Problema. The plural is problemas. Temos um problema. We got a problem. Estou cheia de problemas. I am full of problems. Solução. Solução. The plural is soluções. Soluções. Espero encontrar uma solução. I hope to find a solution. Quais soluções escolher? What solutions should we choose? Democracia. Democracia. The plural is democracias. Acreditamos na democracia. We believe in democracy. Falaremos das democracias mundo afora. We are going to talk about the democracies worldwide. Justiça. Justiça. Eu exijo justiça. 
I demand justice. Justiça eleitoral. It is the highest body of the Brazilian electoral justice. Well, when we talk about justice in general, uh, we do not use the capital letter. When we talk about an organ as Justiça Eleitoral, we need to use a capital letter. All right? Ano. Ano. The plural is anos. Este ano. This year. Quatro anos. Four years. Quantos anos você tem? How old are you? Dedo. Dedo. The plural is dedos. Dedos. O dedo dela está torto. Her finger is crooked. Cinco dedos. Five fingers. Som. Som. O som é um ruído. A sound is a noise. How do we call a speaker in Portuguese? We call it as caixa de som. Caixa de som. Música. Música. The plural is músicas. A música está muito alta. The song is too loud. O CD tem 12 músicas. The CD has 12 songs. Tipos de música. Types of music. As you can see, música can be translated as song, but also music. Canção. Canção. The plural is canções. Uma canção de Natal. A Christmas song. Canções para adorar ao Senhor. Worship songs to praise God. Well, canção can be translated as song. But have you noticed that canção has the same meaning as música? Well, you're right. Same meaning. Musical. Musical. The plural is musicais. Musicais. Gêneros musicais. Music genres. Teatro musical. Musical theater. It is an adjective. Here I am talking about a characteristic or quality and sometimes also origin. Um, um. It is, it can be an article, indefinite article, but it can also be a number, which means one. Well, I'm going to give you examples of both cases. When it is an indefinite article, what is an indefinite article? In Portuguese, we call artigo indefinido. It happens when we cannot identify or specify the noun. It is not that important. Eu tenho um carro. I have a car. I am not explaining what type of car I have, it doesn't sound important, it's just a car. That's why it is indefinite. I'm not explaining about it, I'm not specifying. When I'm talking about number, which means one, two, three, four, and so on, I can use um also. Joguei apenas um ovo nele. I only throw one egg on him. 
you see uh, the word only can show us we are talking about a number. We are counting. When we have this idea of counting, we have a number, not an article. Uma. Uma. It is the feminine of um. Eu tenho uma casa. I have a house. We use uma here because casa, which means house, it is feminine. Eu comi só uma maçã. I ate only one apple. You see, we have here an idea of counting. Just one. That's why I'm hungry. Just one apple. You know what I mean? Uns. Uns. It is the plural of um. Uns carros. Some cars. Uns anos atrás. Some years ago. We don't know the exact number. But we have the idea that is an amount. Umas. Umas. The plural of uma. Eu vi umas garotas. Eu vi umas garotas. I saw some girls. Você tem umas belas pernas. You have some beautiful legs. We could say only you have beautiful legs, but some people use the article. Olho. Olho. And the plural is Olhos, olhos. The pronunciation changes uh, a lot. Olho, olhos. Feche um dos seus olhos. Close one of your eyes. Olhos azuis. Blue eyes. Verdade. Verdade. The plural is verdades. Fale a verdade. Tell the truth. É verdade? Is that true? Verdades secretas. Secret truths. Verdades secretas is a soap opera which was very famous in Brazil. Uh, not for children, but very good. All right. Uh, verdade can be translated as truth or true. Mentira. Mentira. The plural is mentiras. Isso é mentira. This is a lie. São tantas mentiras. There are so many lies. Alma. Alma. The plural is almas. Purifique a sua alma. Purify your soul. Almas gêmeas. Soul mates. Espírito. Espírito. Plural is espíritos. Eu tenho um espírito jovem. I have a youthful spirit. Existência de espíritos. Existence of spirits. Corpo. Corpo. The plural is corpus. Corpus. Corpo saudável. Healthy body. Corpos foram encontrados. Bodies were found. Well, when we say it in singular, the letter, the first letter O, it is pronounced as O, corpo, co, o, o. But when it is in plural, the letter O sounds like O, O, corpus, corpus. Físico. Físico. The plural is físicos. 
It can be an adjective, but also a noun. Corpo físico e espiritual. Physical and spiritual body. Exercícios físicos, which means body exercises. And exercício físico, body exercise. So, plural and now singular. Albert Einstein foi um físico. Albert Einstein was a physicist. Now it is a noun. Filho. Filho. The plural is filhos. Ele é meu filho. He is my son. Quantos filhos você tem? How many children do you have? So, filhos, in the plural, can be sons, so more than one son, but is also neutral. It is, used, uh, it is used when we have daughter and son together. Filha, filha, the plural is filhas. Ela é minha filha, she is my daughter. Todas são suas filhas? Those are all your daughters. Perdão. Perdão. Eu preciso do seu perdão. I need your forgiveness. Meu. Meu. The plural is meus. It is masculine. Ele é meu filho. He is my son. Eles são meus pais. They are my parents. Isso é meu. This is mine. So, we can translate meu as my and also mine. Minha. Minha. The plural is minhas. Ela é minha filha. She is my daughter. Elas são minhas filhas. They are my daughters. Essa é minha. This is mine. Uh, when I say this is mine here, essa é minha. It is an object uh, which is a feminine object, like a purse. Purse in Portuguese is, is feminine. So, it could be a purse, for example. Seu, seu, the plural is seus. We also have teu, teu, with the letter T, and the plural is teus. It is in red color because people do not use it. People do not use it. But in rare situations, you can see it. That's why I need to teach you. Ele é seu filho. Or, ele é teu filho. He is your son. Eles são seus pais. Eles são teus pais. They are your parents. Esses são seus. Or, esses são teus. These are yours. Sua, sua. The plural is suas. We also have tua, tua, and the plural is tuas. Ela é sua filha, or ela é tua filha. She is your daughter. Elas são suas tias, or elas são tuas tias. They are your aunts. Essas são suas. Or, essas são tuas. These are yours. Most of the people do not use tua uh, with the letter T, just with the letter S. But you can find it in old books, old movies, so I need to teach you. Nosso. Nosso or nossos. Nossos. 
Ele é nosso filho. He is our son. Eles são nossos tios. They are our uncles. Esses são nossos. These are ours. Nossa. Nossa. It is the feminine of nosso. And the plural is nossas. Ela é nossa filha. She is our daughter. Elas são nossas tias. They are our aunts. Essas são nossas. These are ours. Dele. Dele. The plural is deles. O carro é dele. The car is his. Tudo que for deles, devolva. Everything that belongs to them, give them back. Dele can be translated as his. And deles can be translated as them. Dela, dela. And the plural is delas. It is the feminine of dele. O carro é dela. The car is hers. Dela can be translated as hers. Tudo que for delas, devolva. Everything that belonged to them, give them back. Delas, plural, can be translated as them. Pai. Pai, the plural is pais. We have two meanings when we have this word in plural. Cadê o seu pai? Where is your father? Reunião entre pais e professores. Parent-teacher meeting. Here, it is not about only father. It is mother, father, and so on. Você tem dois pais? Do you have two fathers? País. País. The plural is países. Países. Uh, it is similar to the word pai or pais, but país, the letter I, has a symbol. Brasil é um país. Brazil is a country. Eu quero visitar todos os países da Europa. I want to visit all the European countries. Nação. Nação. The plural is nações. Nações. Diferenças entre classes podem dividir uma nação. Class differences can divide a nation. É uma das nações mais ricas do mundo. It's one of the richest nations in the world. Senhor. Senhor. The plural is senhores. O que o senhor prefere? What do you prefer, sir? And the famous sentence... Senhoras e senhores, ladies and gentlemen, it is a treatment pronoun. In Portuguese, we call it pronome de tratamento. Senhora, senhora, the plural is senhoras. It is the feminine of sir. O que a senhora prefere? What do you prefer, lady? Senhoras e senhores, ladies and gentlemen. Para, para, or pra, pra, the same meaning. The first one, it is the correct, although pra, pra, it, it is the transformation of the word para. So, in speaking daily conversation, we use pra and When we talk about formal writing, you should use para, the first one, para. So, we can say, são para mim, or são para mim, are those for me? 
Parabéns pra você! You know, happy birthday to you! You know, pra... It is translated as to or for. So, para or pra can be translated as for or to. It is a preposition. Link or connect words. A. A. It can be a preposition or a pronoun. It is a preposition when we can use para instead of a. So, when I say vou a casa, which means I'm going home, in daily conversation people actually say vou para casa. The proper way it is vou a casa with the letter a. But as the language changes a lot when we're talking about grammar and real life, the people, most of the people use para. When a is a pronoun, eu a vejo cada vez mais linda. We can also use ela, which means she. Eu vejo ela cada vez mais linda. I see her each day more gorgeous. Well, a here represents a pronoun, a personal pronoun. Uh, the first sentence is the correct one, although people use the second sentence in daily conversation. A, a can be also an article. Yeah, so a can be preposition, pronoun, and article. When it is an article, it is a definite article. Artigo definido. Aquela é a menina. That is the girl. Comprei a blusa que você pediu. I bought the shirt you asked for. So, here we are specifying is it is a specific object, a specific person. That's why we use the or the. Por. Por. It is a preposition. Tudo que fiz foi por amor. Did it all for love. Por ser rica, ela comprou todos os doces da loja. Because she is rich, she bought all the store's candies. Here we are talking about a cause. Because she is rich, she bought all the, the, all the candies. Dente. Dente. The plural is dentes. Um dente quebrado. A broken tooth. Dentes brancos. White teeth. Deus. Deus. Deuses. Deuses. Deus ama você. God loves you. Deuses do Egito. Egyptian gods. When we talk about a specific god, one god, it is with capital letter. When we talk about more than one god, it is not with the capital letter. Jesus Cristo. Jesus Cristo. Jesus Cristo é o nosso salvador. Jesus Christ is our savior. Pais. Pais. The plural is pazes. Pazes. In the singular, it has one meaning. In the plural, it has a different meaning. All right. Desejo paz a você e a sua família. Wishing you and your family peace. Precisamos fazer as pazes. We need to make it up. So, pais means peace, but... Pazes means to 
make it up means to uh, be friends again be in a relationship again be in peace with each other uh, talk with you again it means bring our relationship back it doesn't matter what type of relationship casa casa the plural is casas comprei uma casa I bought a house eu tenho duas casas I have two houses mansão mansão the plural is mansões mansões lindas mansões de celebridades gorgeous celebrity mansions ela mora em uma mansão she lives in a mansion poder poder the plural is poderes o presidente abriu mão de seu poder the president gave up his power os políticos possuem muitos poderes the politicians have a lot of power the word poder has the idea of control things be able to make huge decisions poderoso poderoso in the plural is poderosos poderosos it is an adjective it is the adjective of the word poder when someone has power it is powerful this person is powerful deus é poderoso god is powerful os políticos são poderosos the politicians are powerful now the feminine of the word poderoso which is poderosa and the plural is poderosas ela se sente tão poderosa she feels so powerful aquelas mulheres são poderosas those women are powerful até até vou até o jardim i am going to the garden the garden is the limit is the maximum that i am going to walk o relatório tem de estar pronto até as 18 horas the report has to be finished until 6 p.m well it is up to it is until it is the maximum it is a preposition of movement it has it gives us the idea of movement but also a limitation até até can be also an adverb todos se portaram mal até a joana everyone behaved badly even joana so we are including joana even joana especial especial and the plural is especiais você é especial para mim. You are special to me. Crianças especiais. Kids with special needs. It is an adjective. Comunidade. Comunidade. The plural is comunidades. Pedimos apoio à nossa comunidade. We ask for support to our community. Moramos em comunidades do Rio de Janeiro. We live in Rio de Janeiro communities. Alegria. Alegria. The plural is alegrias. Eu quero ser o motivo da sua alegria. I want to be the reason of your happiness. Você me deu muitas alegrias. You gave me so much happiness. In Portuguese, we have the plural, the singular, but in English, no. Felicidade. 
felicidade. É uma enorme felicidade tê-lo aqui. It is a huge happiness to have you here. We can also use when we are wishing someone happiness. You can also say felicidades, happiness. We use this expression when something really important is happening to someone. They are getting married or it is Christmas. It is their birthday. You know, it is, it is a special day. Triste. Triste. The plural is tristes. Por que você está triste? Why are you sad? Eles estão tristes. They are sad. So, when we talk about more than one person, it has to be on the plural. But in English, no. Tristeza. Tristeza. The plural is tristezas. Eu sinto tristeza ao lembrar disso. I feel sad whenever I remember that. Você me trouxe muitas tristezas. You caused me sadness. We can translate as sad or sadness. Feliz, feliz, the plural is felizes. Você está feliz? Are you happy? E viveram felizes para sempre. And they lived happily ever after. So, feliz or felizes can be translated as happy or happily. It is an adjective. Gente. Gente. O que toda essa gente faz aqui? What all these people are doing here? So, gente means people. But when we use the letter A before gente, the meaning change. Tem coisa que a gente não fala. We can also say tem coisa que nós não falamos. There are things we don't talk about. A gente means us, we, nós. So, gente means people, but when we use the letter A before, a gente, it means nós, which in English is we. Loja, loja, the plural is lojas. A loja está fechada. The store is closed. Eu sou dona de duas lojas. I own two stores. A gente. A gente. Now the letter A is together with the letter gente. It is one word. Agentes do governo. Government agent. Ela é um agente do estado. She is an agent of the state. Social, social, the plural is sociais, lutas sociais, social struggles, vida social, social life. Particular, particular, the plural is particulares, escolas particulares, private schools. Vida particular, private life. It is an adjective. Público. Público. O público gostou. The audience like it. So, público here means audience. Público, público, or the plural, públicos, públicos. Ambientes públicos. Public spaces. Hospitais públicos. Public 
hospitals. In this case, the meaning is something that belongs to everybody. Well, those were the 80 words in Portuguese. I hope you like it. And if you want to learn Portuguese, subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you soon. Bye.